Card number 18. Original, released in 1990. Revised, released in 1992 after Oliver Stone's JFK movie. Let's take a look at the artwork. FBI Shadows. FBI Shadows. Oh, that says FBI. Very cool art. FBI. Very cool art. Whose picture is that? Or whose portrait is that? FBI shadows. Let's take a look. Jane Hosty. Hosty. Let's see if the text has changed relative to the revised version. Let's take a look at this. So it starts off the same, and then there's a paragraph break. Suspicious Soviet, and it starts with FBI's links. There it is there. So they broke the paragraph there. Suspicious Soviets, FBI links. Okay. Paragraph ends with Division 5, same as here. An hour after, yeah, same. You got the dots and ends with the same. They just did a paragraph here. In 1975, they broke the paragraph there. Okay. Informant 179. Cool. So we can read the original. Okay. So FBI Shadows, James Hosty. The FBI's interest in Oswald had begun in June 1960. While he was in the Soviet Union, when a memo from the FBI to the State Department warned of the, quote, possibility that an imposter is using Oswald's birth certificate, end quote, his mother told the FBI he had taken it with him, but he returned without it and the document has never surfaced. When questioned by, by Fort Worth FBI agent Fain, Oswald offered to report any con contacts with suspicious Soviets. The FBI's links to Oswald continued in New Orleans, where, at his own request, he was interviewed by agent Quigley while under arrest from the while under arrest from the street scuffle with Cuban exile Carlos Bring Bringwire. Bringwire. He was released shortly after paying a $10 fine. Guy Barrister, with whom Oswald worked, was an ex-FBI agent said by some to have been secretly working for the FBI's Counterintelligence Intelligence Division 5. An hour after Oswald's arrest, James Hosty, the Dallas FBI agent who monitored local Cuban exile activities, burst into police headquarters with the news that Oswald was a, quote, communist capable of committing the assassination, end quote. Though Hosty knew where Oswald worked, he had not warned the Secret Service or Dallas police of the presence of this dangerous in quotes man along the motorcade route strangely host hostie's name and phone number were found in oswald's address book texas justice officials alleged to the warren commission that the fbi paid oswald 200 dollars a month for over a year as quote confidential informant 179 end quote in 1975, Hostie said Oswald had brought a note to his office weeks before the assassination asking him to leave Marina alone, but on the order of his superior, Gordon Shanklin, he had, on orders of his superior, Gordon Shanklin, he had destroyed it immediately after Oswald's death. 
just the cover up is insane. The cover up is insane. So the FBI and CIA deep into the assassination of JFK.